Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Colourpop Fame palette. So this is their Cool Tone palette. They're saying that this is their first ever Cool Tone palette, but I would disagree. I feel like some of their other palettes do have a lot of cool tone aspects to it, but this is solely their cool tone palette. So yeah, in today's video, I will be giving you guys my review on this palette, what I think of it, if I would recommend it to you guys, and as always, I will be showing you three looks that you can create with this one palette. So if you're interested in all of that, then just continue watching. Okay, so this is the Fame palette. They recently just announced that they're coming out with the Fortune palette, which by the way, I did pick up. I did get the Fortune palette and I also got the Matte Luxe Lipsticks. I don't know why. I purchased the Matte Luxe Lipsticks first but I got this palette first. I don't know why. I'm hoping that the lipsticks didn't get lost in shipping but I mean I've contacted customer service and they just told me to wait. It takes a certain amount of business days so hopefully it's not lost and I can get that video up for you guys. Anyway without me complaining so much about the shipping this is the Fame palette. If you get the Fortune palette they actually connect together so the other half of the star connects together and it's a really cute concept. I really love it. This is their 16 pan eyeshadow palette. I think this is something that Colourpop is going to be doing now. Maybe the 12 pen palette is no longer a thing. Who knows? This is 22 US dollars. It comes with 16 shadows, like I said. It has 8 mattes, 6 metallics, and 2 satins. So 8 mattes, that's quite a lot. So yeah, this is the Fame palette. This is the packaging. Honestly, I wasn't like really attracted to this kind of packaging. I feel like it's just a bit too loud and uh, kid-like for me. But I get the whole theme. It's like the whole carnival theme, I guess. Fame and fortune. Before we get started with my thoughts on the palette, I want to quickly show you a swatch of the birthday wish. Super Shock Shadow, which is a thing that Colourpop does every year. They come out with a Super Shock Shadow celebrating their birthday, which I think is pretty cute. I didn't get last year's one, but I got this year's one. So this one's called Birthday Wish. The way I would describe this to be is like a taupey gold with purple glitters in it. So you just get this free. I'm not even sure if you guys can get this anymore, but I thought I would show you anyway, just if you're curious to see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. Really, really pretty, but honestly, I'm not like a huge fan of the Super Shock Shadow, so I don't think I'll be getting that much wear out of it. Mine did come a little bit broken. I just, I'm not gonna buy any more Super Shock Shadows. It's just too much of a risk, honestly. Probably eight out of 10 times it comes broken. Even though they will give you credit back for it, I just think it's not worth it to get Super Shock Shadows, in my opinion. I don't even know if you guys really cared about that Super Shock Shadow, but I thought I would show you guys anyway, so. There you go. So let's get started with my thoughts on the Fame palette. So honestly, I was not excited for this palette at all. As you guys know, I love my warm tones. I think cool tone shadows on me just look very bad. Just shadows and lip colors, just anything cool toned, I'm personally not a fan of. I don't like the way they look on me. So like I said earlier, that it does come with eight mattes. And when I think of eight mattes, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. This is a lot of mattes. The problem with me with having eight mattes, it's great. You know, that's what I always ask for, to have a good amount of matte shadows. But the thing with this palette, the matte shadows in here are just too similar in tone that there is no point of having two of the same shades. So first, let's get started with this one here, Center Stage, and this one called Delirium. These two are just very, very similar. One is probably like one or two shades a bit darker, but they both do the same effect on your eyes. Like, it's the same thing. So I feel like these two shades, they could have kept one, made a different shade, and replaced place this shade with something else. Again, with this shade here, Razzle, and this one here called Stardom. Razzle is a little bit lighter, Stardom is a little bit darker, but they're in the same tone or family. Like, honestly, once it's on the eyes, you really could not tell too much of a difference between the two. Wish they would have made something, uh, something a little bit more drastically darker instead of having something that's so similar. There is no depth with these matte shades. It goes from very, very light, like a brow bone highlight, and then it goes to transitions, and then it goes to these very, very very dark shades. With eight mattes, they could have created more depth with these matte shadows. I went from using transition shades straight into the darker shade in the palette. There was like nothing in between. They could have taken, you know, this shade out, this shade out, and made like a medium shade. So that's the problem with me with the mattes in here. It's not a really good range. But you know, again, with Colourpop, their formula is amazing. I feel like the shimmer and the metallic shadows are getting better and better. Because of the metallics in here, I would come back to this palette in my everyday. 
day life. They are just so stunning. Even though they are more like of the cool tone side and a bit more silvery, I think they look amazing on the eyes. I don't even wet my brush anymore, guys. Like, I really don't. For a warm tone girl to really love these cool tone metallics, that's saying a lot. I think after getting this palette, I come to realize like, you know what, like not everybody loves warm tones and I'm kind of like stuck in that warm tone world. Everybody just loves warm tones, everybody hates cool tones, you know? But there are people out there that actually don't like warm tones and prefer cool tones. So I am going to make it a thing on my channel to make more cool tone looks for you guys because I can't think that everybody likes what I like, you know what I mean? When this first launched, we didn't know about the Fortune palette, but now that we have the Fortune palette, it does make a little bit more sense because these are like the sister palettes, so you can use the fortune palette with the fame palette but you can use any palette with this palette it doesn't have to be the fortune palette obviously but you get what I mean they're like kind of sisters so I can see myself using more of the warm shadows in the fortune palette with these shimmer shadows in here if I wanted to use more of a cool tone shimmer shadow I also want to quickly mention that razzle and stardom in the pan they look like a cool tone brown but once it's on the eyes it comes off very very mauve well at least on my skin tone it does it just looks a little bit different on the eyes than what it actually looks like in the pan. I thought I would just give you guys a heads up on that. So yeah, it just depends on you, your preference. I did enjoy this palette. It's not like my favorite and I knew I wasn't going to love it as much, but I'm surprised by it. I really do like the three looks that I created. I'm a little bit mad about this look because I'm having like an issue with my eyelid today where it's kind of like a mono lid and my eyeliner kept transferring and all this stuff. So demo three it was a little bit rough for me, but the other two demos I'm really obsessed. I created a natural look as well. As always with my reviews, I'm always going to say that it depends on you. I mean, if you are a warm tone lover and you don't have a cool tone palette, I think this is like a good palette to just get you started, just to try something new, you know? Actually, I have three items that I'm waiting for from Colourpop that I'm going to be doing a review on. So one video is going to be on the Fortune palette, obviously, and another video is going to be on the Matte Luxe Lipsticks, and then also the new Ultra Glossy Lip Formula. I'm I'm really excited, but you know, I'm just waiting here at my house for it to come through the mail. I'm excited for those three videos. That is my thoughts on the Fame palette. Hopefully you guys got a general idea of how I feel about it and I'll help you guys decide whether you guys want to get this or not. With that being said, let's get started with the swatches and also my three demos. So for the first demo, I decided to do something that was more natural. A lot of you guys have requested for me to do something that's a little bit more natural with no lashes. So this is my take on of a more natural makeup look. The reason why I don't do natural makeup is just because I feel like it's just so easy. I don't feel like it's necessary for a tutorial or for a demo, but you guys keep asking for it. So here it is. I am first taking the shade Center Stage and I'm just going to use this to set down my concealer which is my eye primer just all over my lids up to my brow bone. Then I'll be taking the shade Razzle and I'm going to put this straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions and slowly blending it up towards my brow bone. So this shade in the pan, it looked more like a cool tone brown but when it's on the eyes, it definitely comes off more mauve -y. So just keep that in mind when you are looking at this palette. A lot of the colors do look a little bit more brown but once it's on the eyes, it appears more pinky. Next, I'll be taking the shade Stardom and this is going all over our lids, slowly blending it towards the transition shade. Razzle and Stardom, they're very, very similar in shade. I just feel like Stardom is a tiny bit darker, so these two just seamlessly blend into each other. Then I'll be taking the shade Dazzle and this is going on the center of our lid and then I'm just taking what is ever left on my brush and just pretty much just swiping it all over my lid space. This is going to give our eyes a little bit more dimension and just make it a little bit more prettier for the daytime. 
I'll be using the shade Lifestyle and I'm gonna use this shade to give myself a smoky wing liner. So just focusing most of the product on the outer corner of my eye and slowly winging it out just how I usually would with a gel liner. I'm not gonna bring it too close to my inner part of my eye, just focusing most of the shadow on the outer corner. Going back in with the shade Stardom, I'm just gonna sweep this on my lower lash line from outer to inner corner. For this look, we won't be using any false lashes, so you just want to make sure that you give your lashes a good curl. And for my mascara, I'll be using the Sigma Beauty Sinuosity Mascara. You can use my code JudyC to save 10% at Sigma Beauty. And quickly just taking the shade The Most from the palette, I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone and also the inner corners of my eyes. And also don't forget to coat your bottom lashes as well. And that's it. That's demo one completed. For my lip color, I am wearing the ultra glossy lip in the shade Aquarius. This is a very, very easy demo, very basic steps, very minimal steps. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I finally did a more natural makeup look. And this is going to be my demo 2 look. It is just a cut crease halo eye. Very glam, very dramatic, and very grey, which I love. I am first taking the shade Delirium, and I'm going to use this to set down my eye primer just all over my lids up to my brow bone. Next, I'll be taking the shade Stardom, and this is going to be our transition shade. As you guys know, what I like to do is just put it straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions and slowly blend it up towards my brow bone. Going into the shade Lifestyle, this is going into the outer corner of our eyes and also in the inner corner of our eyes as well. So what I like to do first is just really pat on the pigment and then I like to start blending. Once I got the color on on both sides, I like to connect them in the middle where the crease is. That way just on the lid space in the middle is a little bit blank ready for our cut crease to happen. Taking my concealer, I'm going to start cutting my crease, just placing down the concealer right in the middle of my lid and then slowly bringing it up towards my crease. Taking it above my highest fold, I like to look up and when you look up, it's going to mark a line and you want to go up to that line because if you do, there's not going to be any transfer if you go up to that mark. This is a good technique for anyone that has hooded eyes, folds in their eyes or monolids. I'll be using the shade Debutante and this is going right on top of that concealer. I didn't set the concealer down, this is just going straight onto that tackiness. And I am just being very careful that I do not go above that crease line that we made. Then we'll be using the shade Blase and this is going to be the shade that's meshing the metallic shadow to the dark shadows. Since it's such a huge contrast between the two, you want something to mesh them together. So this is going to be my medium shade. I just like to dab it between the two shades and this works perfectly. It looks like it's been well blended. Taking a little bit of a lifestyle, I'm using a very, very small amount on my brush. I'm just going to go above that crease line just to really define that crease a little bit more. Using Stardom once again, this is going all over our lower lash line from outer to inner corner. And then we'll be using the shade Balse. And I'm just going to use the shade to define the lower lash line. 
I'll be using my Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil and I'm going to use this to line my bottom waterline. Using the shade Snowboat, this is going on our brow bones and also our inner corners. And that is my Demo 2 look completed. For lashes, I am wearing the Serene Light from House of Lashes. And for my lip color, it is the Ultra Blotter Lip in the shade Love Bite. And then we have our last and final look. This one's a little bit more purple, a little bit more mauve. This is my half cut crease look. And as you can see on one of my eyes, my eyeliner was, I don't know what it was doing, but it kept transferring. So please just ignore that. Again, I'll be using the shade Delirium and I'm going to use this to set down my eye primer all over my lids up to my brow bone. Taking the shade Clubhouse, this is going to be our transition shade and I'm sure by now you guys know what I do with my transition shades. Taking the shade Lifestyle, this is going into the outer third of my eye. I'm first stamping it onto that part of my eye first to get the most pigment and then what is ever left on my brush without re-dipping into the shadow, I like to take it into the inner part of my crease. Taking my concealer once again, I'm going to start cutting my crease out but this time I'm placing the crease into the inner part of my lid space but I am using the same technique as I always do so I feel like I don't really need to explain it again. Using the shade Posh, this is going right on top of that concealer but only in the center of our lid because we'll be placing another shadow in the inner part but this is just going right on the center, slowly blending it in towards the shade Lifestyle. Then we'll be using the shade Extravaganza and this is going into the inner part of our lid. I'm slowly blending it towards the shade Posh, that way these two just blend seamlessly into each other. Going back with the same brush that has a lifestyle on it, I'm using this shade just to dab it over the shimmers so that way the matte and shimmers blend into each other. And then I'll be using the shade Clubhouse once again and this is going on our lower lash line from outer to inner corner of course. And then taking the shade Lifestyle, this is just going right under our lash line as well just to define everything a little bit more. Using the same Sigma eyeliner pencil, I am going to use this to tightline my bottom waterline. Using Showboat once again, this is going on our brow bone and also our inner corners. And this is the last and final completed look for lashes. I am wearing the Serene Light from House of Lashes once again. And for my lip color, it is the Luxe Lipstick in the shade Layover. And that guys is going to conclude my video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy my review, my swatches and my demos on the ColourPop Fame palette. But if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. It would help me out so, so much. Also comment down below your thoughts on what you think about this Fame palette. Did you guys pick it up? What do you guys think? Did you guys skip on it? Let me know. I would love to chat with you guys about it. And that is pretty much everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already we're very very close to 40k i am doing a giveaway once we hit it and yeah that is it i love you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye